All right, so I'm back. I was really liking that black and white background, but for the purpose of showing you guys my little map thing, I'm going to put it in color. So what I did was, all right, first let me say that pharmacology is divided into the systems. Actually, this whole semester is divided into the systems, but this is going to be about pharmacology. So the first exam we took was endocrine system. I actually didn't make these for the endocrine system. I was just reading off of the module that they gave us. Our modules look like this. I don't know if you guys want to see it. They look like this. This is for practical nursing principles. Our modules look like this with like slideshows and information. Um, I mean, PowerPoint and information like all in it. And then I take my notes where you see the lines. So... I read off of the module for endocrine system, the cardiovascular system, which is what we're going to be testing on this week. Um, it was way more extensive than endocrine system. So I was like, I cannot sit here and read this module front to back. Like it's, it's not going to work for me. So what I did was I, everything is, was already divided by category in the module so we had like you know class one through four antiarrhythmics and then we had um anti-hyperintensive anti-hypointensive um anti-lipidemics i think i'm saying that right or a dyslipid yeah <laughs> but um so this one i hope you guys can like kind of see what's going on hope the light is not but yeah I put the category at the top this says cardiotonics I know everything is backwards and this is um the class 1a and then what I did was I would like write the drug that she provided at the top and then I think the first thing I went into was um what the category is for like, what does it do? What is it used for? And then I went into um, adverse reactions, um, then nursing implications, and then um, things that I need to monitor in the patient. Um, nursing implications, I also included patient teaching in that. And... If there were any, you know, dosages, any um, toxicities, um, anything about the drug, I also put that as well. So it's like back and front. I put them in these. I actually put these, put them in these little, I don't know, these little plastic cover pocket things today because when I was studying in the bathroom, yes, I study in the bathroom sometimes. Um, which is actually a really great way to focus. Um, it fell in the tub, got wet. I started to see my paper, my paper was starting to wrinkle. So I tried to like pull it taut so that it wouldn't wrinkle and then it tore, which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. But I was really upset because I plan on keeping these for the rest of my nursing career for the rest of my nursing career because they're so helpful for me. Um, it's it's wordy still, but it's not as wordy as having pages and pages and pages of, you know, of um, slide PowerPoints. And I write it in a way that I can understand. I write it in my own words. And I use abbreviations like Instead of saying heart, I'm going to draw a heart. And instead of saying increase or decrease, I'm going to put an up arrow or a down arrow. Or, um, what else? Like right here, for example, good outcomes of the Joxin. I put a little smiley face. Like little things like that just, it makes the learning less, it makes it more bearable. Let's say that. Um, it was, how long, did, it didn't take me that long to make them. Um, 
dedicate an hour or two making them and you'll have them forever like I'm never throwing these away I probably will make them for the endocrine system and I know I'm gonna make them for everything out everything past the cardiovascular system um, I will say that I didn't do the entire module like this. I did enough to where I could read these and then read my module and then not be overbearing, you know? So I think my anti-lipidemics and my anti-hyper and hypo-intensives are, like, I didn't make them for this because I was okay with just reading it from the module because I had these that I didn't have to read from the module. Um, I have cardiotonics, class 1A, class 1B, class 1C, class 2, class 3, class 4, um, central acting anti yeah. central acting anti-adrenergic, I think I said that right, I have my alpha and beta adrenergic blockers, my aldosterone blockers, um, angiotensin converting, Enzyme inhibitors, which is like your ACE1 inhibitors, um, direct acting renin inhibitors, peripheral peripheral vasodilators, coronary vasodilators, and those little categories that I have here. If you guys want to see these, um, it's kind of hard to see. I don't edit my videos either, so I'm not going to put a picture because I don't edit my videos. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, make them say O, un make them say underscore O, M-A-K-E-E-M-S-A-Y-Y-Y underscore O. If you follow me on Instagram, I don't know what how I'm going to do this. Okay, because I don't follow people that I don't know on Instagram. Um, but, okay, so if you could follow me on Instagram or you can, like, comment under one of my pictures. Say you're my YouTube, yeah, YouTube subscriber and I will DM you a picture of one of these so that you can see it better. Um, I know that's kind of a lot, but it's really not that a lot, I don't think. But yeah, if you want to see it, DM me on Instagram. Make them say O. I'll put it in the description box. Um, DM me on Instagram. I said that already, right? DM me on Instagram so I could DM you a picture. If you want to follow me, you can follow me. Um, I think you have to follow me in order. Do you have to follow somebody in order for them to DM you? Like I said, comment on one of my pictures because my profile is not private right now. Comment on one of my pictures. Let me know you're a YouTube subscriber and you want to see, um, what should I call this? You want to see my drug map and I will DM you a picture and I'll follow you back. Um, yeah, if you let me know that you're one of my YouTube subscribers, eh, if you let me know that you're one of my YouTube subscribers, I will follow you back. Um... So yeah, that's what I did. It helped me. And actually, these, I didn't write on them front and back. They're two papers in one thing. So, let me show you front and back. And it's just very helpful. Like, you can make it how you want to make it. You can categorize it how you want to categorize it. You can, um, there's only one paper in here. Um, and just make it work for you. Like, with nursing, reading is not the only solution. Like, you can read. You can watch videos. Use Khan Academy. I was watching some, um, anti-arrhythmic videos on there while I was washing the dishes. Like, you have to just get creative with your studying. You will kill yourself if you try to read every textbook, read every note, read every... Like, reading isn't the only way to study. It's really not. I mean, it's probably the main way to study, but because I do read. Reading works for me. I hope my video is, like, doing something weird. I hope you guys can't see it and it's just me. But reading works for me. Reading repeatedly works for me. 
reading aloud works for me and watching videos work for me anything that I hear I'm not forgetting it um like let me not say that if I hear like I don't know I can hear my teacher <laughs> I can hear my teacher's voices when I study like if I'm reading something and they mention something significant about it I can hear them repeating it so like that's what I mean when I say if you if I hear it I'll remember it but this video is getting long um main gist of it is do whatever you gotta do to get the information in your head if you have to freaking draw on your room walls like <laughs> make it happen you can paint them over when you graduate like i'm gonna make another video about graduation i have a lot to say to you guys okay i'm making another video talk to you guys later